You planning coming up for air? I'm getting down in the wrong way. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten kg. So guys, another day out sea forage. This is the second video. I done it quite a bit last year and um, we uh, decided not to push too much on it because we're still kind of learning and uh, just just wanted to enjoy it. So the main thing today is we're going to look for scallops, see if there's any flatfish around and uh, hopefully have a bit of a cook up later on. But uh, yeah, that'll all depend if we get some fish. So let's get moving. Water's lovely and clear. Proper excited for this now. Really, really want to get yeah, some scallops. So uh, probably go to them boys and scoot along there and just see what's what. But we have to keep an eye on the currents. Kind of our landmarks to see we're not drifting away too far. So let's go. So you really start by looking and seeking you find the shape of a scallop. A lot of the time you will only see a covering of sand or you might even see a bit of the shell but luckily enough we were straight off the mark with a really nice one straight into the bag and back on the lookout for more and it wasn't long until we had our second one Around this time of year, the spider crabs start to come in from the deeps. So I was keeping an eye out to see if we could find any of these really cool looking creatures. But I had to stay focused on the job at hand and see can we nab a few more of these scallops. So as I dove down again, something caught my eye. My first spider crab of the 2023. Now I didn't keep this fella, but it was nice to see them. And brilliant, I had another scallop. But then as I shook it around, I realized that there's actually nothing inside. This scallop was upside down so the, re the curved part was facing up and as you can see it's full of sand these usually sit with the flat side up so when you see any like that there's usually something going on so with the sand still coming out I realised there was definitely nothing so it wasn't even a point of putting it in the bag so I dropped it down and we moved on and search for more. with me finding empty shells to rub salt into the wound John was picking up tree a dive John has done this previously in Australia and the experience that he has really is showing
twice twice a day so uh, yeah I'm going to be cooking some for my family he's going to be cooking some for his and uh, we're going to have a good evening so um, I don't know if I'm going to record actually eating of it but uh, I'll, uh, I'll definitely enjoy them anyway um, yeah yeah you have to eat them fairly fairly fresh um, but yeah guys let me know what you think of this it's uh, something different for the channel and it's definitely going to be uh, more on it um, it's definitely going to be on the channel more uh, this season so we will uh, see you then guys hope you enjoyed it and we'll chat again